Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 9th January first question is the union cabinet has recently approved a reservation at what percentage for economically backward upper caste in government jobs so recently union cabinet has approved 10% reservation so 10% is right answer and this 10% reservation has been approved in educational institutions and in government jobs for economically backward sections in general category therefore a constitutional amendment bill will be presented in parliament why a constitutional amendment bill because for the reservation provisions article 15 and article 16 of indian constitution will have to be amended that's why a constitutional amendment bill will be tabled in parliament now as per this proposed reservation scheme this will be over and above the existing 50% reservation that 50% reservation is provided to scheduled caste scheduled tribes and other backward classes now here are two important things first supreme court in indra sahani case in 1992 ruled that reservations could not exceed 50% so 50% is upper limit as per indra sahani judgment by the supreme court in 1992 Next question is which indian organization has recently signed mou that means memorandum of understanding with samir for research in communication navigation and surveillance right answer is aai that means airport authority of india has signed a memorandum of understanding with society for applied microwave electronics engineering and research so samir stands for society for applied microwave electronics engineering and research so both aai and samir will conduct joint research programs in the field of communication navigation and surveillance now if we talk about samir it is a autonomous research and development institute under ministry of electronics and information technology if we talk about airport authority of india it is a statutory body it works in the field of aviation It was founded in 1995 and presently Dr Guru Prasad Mohapatra is the chairman of Airport Authority of India. Next question is who is the head of task force to look into suicides of Jawahar Navodya Vidyalaya's students? Right answer is Mr Jitendra Nagpal recently MHRD that means Ministry of Human Resource Development has constituted a task force to look into the issues of suicides of students in Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya the task force will be headed by Dr Jitendra Nagpal if we talk about few other committees which were in news recently recently committee headed by IIT Hyderabad chairman Mr B V R Mohan Reddy has advised AICTE to stop setting up new colleges from 2020 and review the creation of new capacity after every 2 years there was one more committee which was in news a national implementation committee was constituted under the chairmanship of mr rajnath singh who is our present home minister to commemorate the 550th birth anniversary of guru nanak dev ji government also constituted rajiv kumar committee to look into the selling of oil india limited and ongc fields to private companies mr rajiv kumar is the vice chairman of niti aayog recently The committee headed by Union Home Secretary Mr Rajiv Gaba submitted its report. The committee was constituted to examine and to deliberate on the need for separate law to curb mob lynching. That means to stop the instances of mob lynching. There is one more important fact related to mob lynching. Recently Manipur passed Protection from Mob Violence Bill to stop incidents of such lynching. Next question is who is the recipient of Ramnath Goenka Excellence in Journalism Award for Investigating Reporting in Print Category. Right answer is S Vijay Kumar. Mr S Vijay Kumar, who is the senior deputy editor with The Hindu, was presented the Ramnath Goenka Excellence Award for Investigating Reporting. The award was presented by Union Home Minister Mr Rajnath Singh. Now, if we talk about Mr Ramnath Goenka, he was an Indian newspaper publisher. he launched the indian express in 1932 if we talk about few other press related awards recently miss swati chaturvedi won press freedom award for courage also the veteran journalist and the chairman of the hindu publishing group mr n ram was given raja ram mohan roy award 
This award was presented on the occasion of National Press Day. On 16th of November, every year, National Press Day is celebrated. If we talk about World Press Freedom Day, it is celebrated on 3rd of May. There is one report related to press. It is World Press Freedom Index. It is prepared by Reporters Without Border. So as per 2018 World Press Freedom Index, India is on 138th position. Norway is on top of this index and Sweden is on 2nd position. Next question is, which country's team has clinched the 2019 Hope Man Cup title? Right answer is Switzerland. The Swiss team of Mr. Roger Federer and Miss Belinda Bankic has won the 31st edition of Hope Man Cup tournament in Perth in Australia. Now this Hope Man Cup is a tennis tournament and the team of Mr. Roger Federer and Miss Belinda Bankic has won this 2019 Hope Man Cup title. Now with this win, Mr. Roger Federer is the first player to win three Hope Man Cups. If we talk about Switzerland, it is a European country and the capital of Switzerland is Bern. In fact, the headquarter of International Olympic Committee is also in Switzerland. It is a sports federation and it is responsible for organizing modern day Olympic Games. And the 2020 Winter Youth Olympic Games will also be in Switzerland. Recently, the 2018 Summer Youth Olympic Games held in Argentina. Argentina also hosted recent G20 Summit. India will host G20 Summit in 2022. And the next Summer Youth Olympic Games will be in 2022 in Senegal. Senegal is a African country and the capital of Senegal is Dakar. Also, the headquarter of World Economic Forum is in Switzerland. It is in Colony in Switzerland. World Economic Forum was founded in 1971 and Mr. Klaus Schwab is the founder of WEF. The headquarter of BIS, that is Bank for International Settlements, is also in Switzerland in Basel. You might have heard Basel gnomes. Headquarter of WHO is also in Switzerland in Geneva. And Mr. Tedros Adhanom is the Director General of WHO. It was formed in 1948. The headquarter of FIFA is also in Switzerland in Zurich. So you need not to remember each and every city, but you can have a fair idea about the country. Next question is, which city is the venue of second edition of Hello India Youth Games 2019? Right answer is Pune. The second edition of Hello India Youth Games will be in Pune. If we talk about Pune, recently Pune District Court became India's first court to allow e-payments. Recently, Ms. Vedangi Kulkarni became fastest Asian woman to cycle around the globe. Ms. Vedangi Kulkarni is also from Pune. In fact, India's first all festival also held in Pune. It was organized by ELA Foundation. FTII, that is Film and Television Institute of India, is also in Pune. And recently, Mr. Anupam Kher resigned from the post of FTII chairman. And Mr. Brijinder Pal Singh has been appointed as new FTII chairman. The second FTII will be in Arunachal Pradesh. Next question is, the union government has amalgamated which of the following regional rural banks? into a single RRB. Right answer is Punjab Grameen Bank, Malwa Grameen Bank and Satlas Grameen Bank. So the government of India has amalgamated three RRB. These three are Punjab Grameen Bank, Malwa Grameen Bank and Satlas Grameen Bank. The sponsor bank of RRBs are NABAD that means National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development and the government of Punjab as well as the Punjab National Bank, State Bank of India and Punjab and Sindh Bank. If we talk about RRBs, these were formed on the recommendations of Nasiman Committee. RRBs are having legislative backing through Regional Rural Banks Act of 1976. So if we talk about shareholdings, central government have 50% shares, state governments have 15% shares and the rest 35% shares are with sponsor banks. There was one more amalgamation which was in news recently as cabinet approved First ever three-way merger in Indian banking with amalgamation of Vijaya Bank, Dena Bank and Bank of Baroda. Next question is, which Indian personality has joined IMF as first female chief economist? Right answer is Professor Geeta Gopinath. Recently, Geeta Gopinath has joined IMF as first female chief economist. If we talk about IMF, it is International Monetary Fund. It was founded in 1945 and the headquarter is in Washington DC. Miss Christine Lagarde is the 
MD of IMF. So with this, Miss Geeta Gopinath has become the second Indian after Mr. Raghuram Rajan to be appointed to that position. Mr. Raghuram Rajan was former RBI governor. He is the author of book I Do What I Do. There was one more RBI governor who was in news recently. Mr. Shakti Kant Das has been appointed as new RBI governor after the resignation of Mr. Urjit Patel. RBI also constituted a committee to review the economic capital framework. This committee will be headed by former RBI governor Mr. Vimal Jalan. There was one more committee of RBI which was in news. This committee was constituted for the revival of MSME sector. This committee will be headed by former SEBI chairman Mr. U K Sinha. Next question is which city is the venue of All India Radio National Poets Conference 2019? Right answer is Chennai. This conference will be in Chennai. This is first time that Chennai is hosting the Sarov Bhasha Kavi Sammelan. So in this particular All India National Poet Conference, poets representing 22 languages will participate. These 22 languages are those which are mentioned in 8th schedule of Indian Constitution. If we talk about 8th schedule of Indian Constitution, originally there were 14 languages. Then through 21st Constitution Amendment Act, Sindhi was added. and then later through 71st amendment konkani manipuri and nepali were added into this 8th schedule and through 92nd constitutional amendment act bodo dogri santhali and mathili were also added so presently there are 22 languages in 8th schedule of constitution if we talk about chennai it is in tamil nadu and as per the niti ayog's sustainable development goals india index 2018 Tamil Nadu is one of the top performing states. Himachal Pradesh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu are top performers while Assam, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh were the worst performers. Tamil Nadu's Periyakulam police station was also in the list of top 10 police stations of 2018. The Kalu police station of Rajasthan was on the top of this list. If we talk about Tamil Nadu and administration, Mr. Banwari Lal Purohit is the governor of Tamil Nadu and Mr. E K Palni Swami is the chief minister of Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu's Virudhunagar district was on the top in second delta ranking delta ranking is related to aspirational district program the aspirational district program is for the rapid transformation of backward districts it is a initiative of niti ayog also india's first music museum will be in thiruvayaru in tamil nadu thiruvayaru is the birthplace of Saint Tyagaraj he is one of the trinities of carnatic music next question is the personal laws amendment bill 2018 has struck doubt which disease as a ground for seeking a divorce right answer is leprosy lok sabha recently passed a bill for the removal of leprosy as a ground for divorce if we talk about leprosy leprosy is also known as hansen's disease it is caused by mycobacterium leper therefore it should be kept in mind that it is a bacterial disease presently leprosy is completely curable and it can be treated with multi drug therapy every year on the last sunday of january world leprosy day is observed to increase the public awareness about leprosy thank you and that's all for the day